Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Chronicles Basketball Fat Pack Edition, or I guess I guess they call them value packs right here, but if you look at the fresh case we pull them out of, they say fat packs. I don't, they, never, they don't say fat anywhere here, but big bone packs. All right, also an early bird special. If you're one of the first 20 who picked up spots here, there, there's the early bird list. There you go, from Marty down to Martin. Then you have a shot at an extra spot. So let's do that right now. Different dice roll than the other randomizer. Ten times, name on top after ten, extra spot. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and... Tenth and final time. After ten, Scott, there you go. Scott, thanks for being an early bird. You have caught the worm. There you go. Now we can put all of your names and teams into that tab right there. Good luck. Let's roll it. Randomize it. Five and a five. Ten the hard way. Different kind of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, and 10th and final time. After 10, we got Tim Tyler down to Scott. Scott's regular spot. Five and a five, hard 10 for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10, we got the my rivals, the Celtics, down to the Mavs, who I think are down to the Clippers at the moment, at the half. All right, so Tim, you have the Celtics, Mike with the Cavs, Marty with the Knicks, Thomas with the Clips, Scott with your early bird spot, the Pelicans. This is 2019-2020, right? That's pretty nice. Rich with the Trailblazers, Matthew with the Spurs, Andrew with the Magic, Ryan with the Hawks, Tony with the Bucks, Anthony with the Warriors, Brandon with the Kings, Marty with the Wizards, Steve with the Nets, Tang with the Suns, Rhea with the Sixers, Martin with the Pacers. Anthony with the Bulls, Natalie with the Pistons, David with the Jazz, Martin with the Hornets, Edgar with the Rockets, Mark with the Thunder, Rich, Last Spot Mojo, Nuggets. Martin with the Grizz, Chris with the Lakers, you got my Lakers, Martin with the Timberwolves, Matthew Shear with the Heat, David with the Raptors, and Scott with the Dallas Mavericks. Now, just kind of a, until further, could change without notice, but as of now, we are still shipping uh, Luka Doncic, second year, Vet Commons. We're sending, uh, I guess if there was Cavs LeBron, we'd send it, but it's most likely going to be Lakers LeBron here, Chris Miller. Those will still ship, and uh, Giannis base veteran comments will still ship as well. All right, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. I think Bulls are up for trade. Um, so if anybody wants to make a play for Kobe White, maybe. So uh, when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but no deals were done at the end of the day. All good. Thanks for hanging with me on a Friday. There you go. Two box, fat pack version. Pick your team number seven. So you've been seeing us do some of these individual packs as um, as like filler breaks, mini breaks. But this time, we're just doing all 12 packs in this box right here times two. So that should be pretty fun. A lot of fun stuff in here as well. So good luck, everybody. We're at halftime, boys and girls. Mavs and Clippers are at the half. Do I have, what's the score here? Clippers up 68 to 54. Looks like the earlier today, the uh, Raptors are cruising. They beat the Brooklyn Nets 117 to 92 to take a commanding 3-0 lead in the series. This Utah Nuggets series seems to be going back and forth a little bit. Utah, I think last game, Denver looked really good. Or no, maybe game one, Denver looked really good. Anyway, even though Donovan Mitchell scored a bunch of points, but now Utah has taken a couple games. And they beat the they beat the Nuggets today, 124 to 87. Ouch. And then Boston looked good today, too. They beat the Sixers 102-94, to taking a 3-0 lead. Looks like uh, Sweepsville 
for Toronto and Boston. I don't think the I don't think the Sixers are gonna win a game. I don't think Brooklyn's gonna win another game. What are, what does Philadelphia do? The man they, that team looks so good on paper. I remember in the off season, right? Last summer, when we were breaking and talking basketball during the baseball, you know, we were talking off season basketball. And um People are like, well, they got Al Horford. Look at that length, that defense from Al Horford. Look at Tobias Harris. I mean, the length and shooting ability from Tobias Harris. Look how big Ben Simmons is. Look how look, Joel Embiid, if healthy, dot, dot, dot. You know? Even their draft picks were pretty solid, too. But then the season was a little weird. Right? They, they, were, winning, they were winning home games, a bunch of home games. These are considered veteran comments, by the way, the Chronicles cards. Those are the ones that most likely will not ship. Everything else will. All those inserts will ship. There's just there's a lot going on here. But it's Kendrick Nunn for the Heat. That will be for Matthew Shira. But then, you know, Sixers started struggling on the road. They couldn't win road games. They really struggled on the road. And then Ben Simmons got injured. That wasn't good. So... So it got got kind of strange. I think these copper ones are exclusive to the. Yeah, the bronze is what they're calling. So the bronze ones are exclusive to that. Nice Zion right there. So that bronze Terrence Davis will go to Toronto. David with that one. LeBron James Lakers will go to Chris Miller, and the Zion Williamson Pelicans. That's going to go to. Scott got the Pelicans with the early bird spot. Good things can happen if you're an early bird, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Terrence Davis. Those are the prism updates. Okay, so a lot going on here. We got a we got a Kendrick Nunn for the Heat, Matthew Shira. Here's John Morant, Grizzlies, Martin, McSub. There you go. Got randomized to the Grizz. You'll get all the John Moran cards. There's Giannis. There's Kobe White for the Bulls, Anthony. And Luka Doncic. How's, how's Luka Doncic doing? Let's pop a box score open here. Doncic has 11 points. Four rebounds, seven assists. And these prism are update cards. They, these tend to be carry a little extra weight in these breaks. Raptors, David. Phoenix, Zion, nice. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, I, I don't I don't make that call, but as long as you you shoot us an email, I'm sure that'll get to work through its channels. Appreciate you looking out. There's Goga, Bronze, John Morant, Luminance. We'll save those Lucas though. <laughs> so, I, I again, I forget, was it you, David Downer, or are you listening? To, I don't know if it was him that told me this. I feel like someone told me that because I was like commenting when we first were doing these hobby breaks too. I was like, man, what a dunk! You know, he could poster Kevin Love, and someone was like, no, nah, you know what, Joe? I'm pretty sure that that he missed that dunk. Like it looked so good, but the the lulls was that he totally just missed it, or hit the back of the rim or something like that. There's Kendrick Nunn. Someone told me that, so I appreciate that. Someone that that still tickles me to this day. To this day. I crack up. Uh, there's John Morant right there in the playoff uh, uh, playbook five. Yeah, that might that luminance card might be John Morant's best looking card, right? 
Great shot there. Crusade Giannis. It's good. Look at that Zion. That Zion. This shot of Zion. You know what this looks like? That he just bounced off of a, a like like a bounce house or something like. It's like boing. Doesn't look like that. Boing. That goes to the Pelicans. That'll be for Scott. That might be a bronze John Morant. Kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but. There you go, John Morant. Hachimura, some Giannis, all sorts of stuff. Now I saw that, Patrick, and they still won. So that's that's a that's a pretty good sign for the Celtics. from Kendrick Nunn's, his value can can go up just due to the playoffs. I think this is bronze, right? You can kind of see the bronze P right there. It's prestige, I think. I'm not sure what this design is. Pantheon, maybe? Another bronze right there. Here's another guy that can significantly increase his stock throughout the course of the playoffs. Do you need anything from Starbucks? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. And Daniel Gafford for the Bulls should be bronze, I think, from my eye. And there's the Threads Zion. Ooh, and a Phoenix John Moran. I think these look really cool. And the rare autograph in this, that's Chris Clemens, Apprentice Auto, coming into focus right there. Rockets. Going to slightly thicker top loader here. All right, that'll be for Edgar in Houston. Don't sleep on R.J. Barrett. I know I've been I haven't been grabbing all of his cards, but still he's still got some some upside. He's a good buy low candidate. I want to say. So rookie Darius Baisley has been doing some work for OKC. These flux cards, I feel like people have been telling me they've been selling a little bit better than all the other designs, other brands. 
So that Tyler Hero will go to Matthew Shearer and the Heat. All right, that was first box, second box. We have another two boxes in the store. If you want to keep running this back tonight, we can. Oh, was that a little tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo, Edgar saying? Chris Clemens could have been someone's. It was a little more difficult than the other ones. Got to pull it away from the corners. Trevor's saying, going to be funny when the undrafted rookie TD gets a national title with the Raptors. The Raptors going to win it again? Raptors, I think the Raptors. Oh, Terrence Davis. So if it's unlikely the the Philadelphia Sixers, 76ers, or the Brooklyn Nets are going to come back from a 3-0 deficit. So it's going to be, this is going to be a good series, I think. Boston and Toronto facing off against each other. I don't think there's like huge, are there huge mismatches there? No, I feel like both teams have some pretty talented players. One through five. I mean, Tatum could obviously take over any game, but that, I think that, that'll, that'll be a fun series. Kobe White was playing great basketball leading up to the to the pause. Unfortunately, they were not in the playoffs, so he didn't get a lot of play reseeding intention. But he's he's going to be a great ball player. There's John Morant. Another one for the Grizz. That'll be for Martin. Trevor's saying Toronto's bench held up at the beginning of the season with half their stars out, and then Terrence Davis led all rookies in February. Are you saying buy low on Terrence Davis? I think that's what I'm hearing. All right, there's the score version of John Morant, which I think All right there it says uh, look for the exclusive score insert. We don't see a lot of score inserts. So nice, that's a special insert right there for the Grizzlies. Martin with the Grizz. So good. Doncic misfires on a three. I think did he just get his own rebound? I think it bounced off the backboard, drove into the top of the key, gets his own rebound, drives in a couple steps, makes a couple moves, and hits a basket. It's so good.
And I feel like he still has like a... He's only like, what, 20 maybe? How old is he? 21 maybe? Like, I, I feel like... I feel like he still has like some baby fat to like... I feel like he still needs like... He still has like man body that he can still develop into. And then what does the league do then? If Porzingis stays healthy, I feel like Porzingis isn't even playing at prime Porzingis levels. A couple pieces here and there. Dallas could be a very scary team. Is Lonzo, Rex is asking, Lonzo going to be on the Pelicans next year? I think so. I don't think I've heard any rumblings about them getting rid of him. I don't know if anybody really is going to trade for him, you know, like... Not that he's a bad player, he's got some upside, but but not enough to trade a significant amount for. I think the Pelicans will just end up keeping him at that point. Unless they're like getting some sort of godfather off. Here's another score card right here. Zion this time. It's for Scott. Pelicans, nice. Nice John Moran, great photo right here like we discussed earlier. So Bryce is saying, yeah, Luca's young, like Soto, like 21, right? Yeah, not old at all. You have Alonzo Prism Green Emergent. I was wondering if I should something you should hold on to. I don't think it would hurt to hold on to it. I mean, we did give away that Lonzo, you know, didn't we give away that Lonzo like Prism autograph that was graded really nicely? That still was almost a thousand dollars. I think there's still some. I don't know. Look, look it up. But it could, it's like fifty-fifty. It could go either way. You know. He may just need the need a need the right coach or a good system to really to really put him into a position to succeed. In my opinion. He's got to work on that outside shot. A jump shot. <laughs> He's got to work on that. You know, there's some things he needs to work on, but his his court vision is is just unparalleled. Like he he passes the ball incredibly well. You know, so he's just really smart basketball player. But, you know, there's more to the game than just slick passing. Score, bowl, bowl, Rich Schmidt. I mean, if they're, if they're only going for $10, I mean, I think it'd be wor worth worth holding on to. If he sucks, like, <laughs> you, what, Valley's, Valley's what's going to, what, drop to a dollar? That's not, that's not the end of the world. At best, if it's an, I mean, it's an insert, I guess, but but even with an insert, if you can then eventually sell it for 40, 50 bucks, that's a good return. I know it almost might be, it's not, might not be worth your time, Rex, to sell a $10 card. If you add up, you know, what you're worth, your time, your money. Another Luca right there. Uh oh, no, Luca, get up. Uh oh, he's he's grabbing that right ankle. You can't see it. That right ankle right there. No, he's limping off the court. No, Luca. Not putting weight on it, and he's he like hopped on one leg to the. Oh no. Wait, I I missed it. He. Oh. I think he's gonna. It looked worse than it, but everyone. I think everyone's rolled their ankle like that before. He was walking. He, he was coming up to block a shot. The the knee inadvertently of the other guy hit his knee, and then his. You know how when you're when you're like jogging or something like that, and you you hit like a crack and your your ankle kind of turns in like that, right? That's what happened to him. 
Now, sometimes I'm jogging, I'm running around, and I do that. And it hurts like hell, but like, you know, it's fine the next day. You know what I mean? One of those. But then I've heard, you know, I've had friends who are running and hit like a crack or a, you know, one of those sycamore seeds or something like that. And they twist and then just destroy ligaments. I just missed the scorecards previously or am I just are, have they there's just been more that might be my bad folks I feel like we're, we're seeing an inordinate amount of these scorecards all right let's get Gogo back into focus there he is Pacers Martin those would chip anyway but they are exclusive they are exclusive to this set there's Bronze, Kevin Porter Jr. for the Cavs, Tyler Hero. Giannis, Kendrick. Doncic, get well soon. Doncic, get well now. Tyler Hero. Bronze, AD, Prism Update. Okay, so Bryce is saying you've all you've seen more score than you would normally expect. I feel like I must have missed some in some previous breaks, even though they'll ship. But there's a Tyler Hero one too. I feel like there's more than more than what I've normally seen. Also, Trevor was talking about Terrence Davis. There he is, Terrence Davis rookie card. Let's set one of those aside. Kobe White, Matisse Tybel bronze. I mean, so you're gonna get swept. You may as well just put Matisse Tybel out there for, for, you know, 40 minutes and see what you got with him. It's pretty good. Yeah, I know. We we were watching the game. We saw it all unfold. I get up, Luca. <laughs> and last but not least is a bronze threads Zion for Scott, who got the Pelicans in the uh, got the Pelicans with the early bird spot. So awesome! And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was two box fat pack pick your team number seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. The always excellent 2019-2020 Panini Chronicles basketball. Um, another two box in the store. If you want to check it out, I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.